All right, good day, folks. Welcome back to Kieran's Training. So today we're going to take a look at one very important piece of PPE. Okay, we're going to look at a safety harness. Okay, we're not just going to look at how to inspect it, but also how to fit it as well. Okay, so the one thing you've got to remember about your safety harness is there for one reason and one reason only, and that is to save your life. So if you're going to be wearing it, you want to make damn sure that it is in good condition and that it's also fitted correctly. Okay, so to get stuck straight into it, when you're inspecting your safety harness, all right, easiest way to do it is if you hold it by the D-ring here, all right, have everything nice and open, just like that, all right? Now, when you're inspecting it, you want to inspect every component of it, all right? So you can start with your ring at the top, all right? Checking that, making sure there's no damage to it, all right? Make sure it hasn't been worn, bent, stretched, any cracks, anything along those lines, all right? You can work your down, way down all the webbing, checking all your stitching, right? Making sure all your stitching is in good condition, it's not coming loose, hasn't had any chemical damage to it. All right. Keep coming down, checking all your webbing. All right. If you've got any of these um, attachment points, right? Make sure they're all in good condition as well, where all the stitching is, etc. Right. Keep coming all the way down. All right. Check all your stitching. Check all your buckles and all your adjusters. All right. Make sure they're all in good condition, haven't been bent or stretched, no cracks. All right, keep coming all the way down, okay? And just make sure you're giving it a good look all the way over, all right? Looking for any signs of burns or any chemical damage or anything along those lines on the um, harness, all right? The other thing you want to check, okay? You want to make sure you check your the tag on it as well, okay? So. These harnesses, they have a lifetime of 10 years, okay? That 10 years is from the day you, um, it was manufactured, not the day you bought it, okay? So if you, we, I'll just bring the tag in here so you can have a look, right? So you can see on there, it's got the date of manufacture, right? In this case, it is uh, July 2021, okay? So we'll put that there, okay? And it also tells you when it should be removed. Okay, which is 10 years from the date of manufacture. Okay, if you are going to buy a harness, make sure you check that date, all right? You want to get as much use out of the harness as you can. You don't want it to be sitting on a shelf for six years, in which case you'll only be able to use it for another four. Okay, so once you've checked through all your harness, all right, made sure it's in date, okay? Then you need to fit it correctly, okay? Now, with a harness, it needs to be fitted nice and firm. Okay, so the best way to fit it, if you hold it up by the D-rings, you can see where your arms go. All right, so it's just throw it straight over like that. Okay, now, when you're doing up a harness, it's always best if you pull the top up first. So you tighten up the top. Okay, so we'll just slide these adjusters. All right, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, you want to get it nice and tight in the top. And you want to do this before you do the legs. Okay, because what you'll find is if you do the legs first, the ring on the back, it's going to pull it down towards the centre of back, your back, which is not what you want. You want to be able to reach that ring um, when you've got it on. Right. So you pull these up. Okay. So once you've got that on, all right, we can put on the chest strap. All right, we'll pull that one nice and tight. Okay, so we've got that on there. All right, and I'll just step back a bit so we can have a look. So we've got our legs here. All right, so with our legs, make sure there's no twists in it. I just, you can just feed it under and we just clip it on here. Okay, so clip that one on. And we'll do the same on this side, making sure there's no twist in it. And we'll clip that on. Now, a good way to tell is if these are on the inside, like that, it mean, it'll indicate you've got a twist in it somewhere. All right, so once we've got the legs on, we want to pull them nice and tight. Okay. Okay, and it should be nice and firm down in here, okay? Now, if you've got it fitted correctly, 
right, you should be able to reach the D-ring on the back like that. Okay? Now, with all these extra bits hanging out, we can just get them up out of the way. All right. Okay, with the legs, we've got the, these bits here. All right, because what we don't want is we don't want all these little loose bits hanging loose. All right. Okay. So that's how we fit our harness. All right. Now, don't forget another important part of it is we've got our lanyard on the back of it. All right, so lanyard, once again, make sure you check it all over thoroughly. All right, so make sure these clasps are opening and closing fine. Make sure they're not stretched or there's any damage or twists on the inside of it. Okay, where it's attached, all right, make sure that's all in good condition there. All right, check your shock absorber here. All right, make sure there's no signs of it having been used in a fall at all. Okay, the lanyard should have its own um, tag on it, all right? And that's just like the harness, it's good for 10 years from date of manufacture. All right, so if we have a look on this one, okay, so this was, we have a look there, it says February 2021, right? Which means it's good until February 2031. Okay, so make sure it hasn't been used in a fall. If at any point the harness or the lanyard has been involved in a fall, they must be removed from service, okay? Okay, so, we're checking all our webbing, right? Mate, looking for any damage, any cuts or tears, any abrasions, any chemical damage, okay? All right, get down to the end, all right? Check all the stitching, make sure the stitching's all in good condition, nothing's, no stitching coming loose, no chemical damage to the stitching, all right? And when we get down, in this instance, we've got a shark hook latch, all right? So, make sure that locks closed when it needs to and opens nice and tight. Okay, there are a number of different types of lanyards you can get, all serve different purposes. Okay, so quite a common one is a double tail lanyard. So with a double tail lanyard, it's good if you're moving around and you need to attach from one point to another, and that's gonna keep you 100% hook up long as you go. Okay, another handy lanyard to have is one with an adjustable length. So if you're attached to a static line, all right, you can adjust it so you can reach to the edge without having to go over it as well, okay? Now, my advice is if you are going to get into the rigging, if you're going to be in jobs where you're going to be wearing a harness a lot, my advice is always buy your own harness, you look after it, okay? Because some of the ones that are supplied out there aren't the most comfortable in the world, okay? By buying your own harness, you know it's going to be looked after and it's going to be a lot more comfortable than some of the ones that some of the employers do give to you, okay? Okay, so that was just a quick rundown on the harness. All right, remember they are a very important part of what you um, wear. Make sure you do look after it, okay? And if you are going to do some assessments, all right, um, they are going to be used in basic rigging assessments. If you're doing a boom lift assessment, any work in a heights courses you're doing, you're gonna to have to know how to inspect and fit a harness as well, okay? So remember, it's there to save your life, so look after it. Okay, thanks for your time.